So last time we were discussing straight line and we're going to continue it, okay? So for this problem, find the general equation of the line passing through two negative five and letter A parallel, letter B perpendicular to the line five X plus four Y minus eight equal to zero. So how are we going to solve this? So we know already a point where the line will pass through no? to negative five. So what we need is slope. But there is a relationship between this given line and the line we are looking for. Okay, so the first relationship is that they are parallel. The second one, they are perpendicular. Let's take uh, the first case, okay? So letter A, parallel. to the line 5x plus 4y minus 8 equal to 0. So mm, let's get the slope of this line. So to get this slope, we have negative a over b. So this is how to get this slope. If you do not want to reduce this to slope intercept form, OK? So for the coefficient of x, which is five, no? So that is our a coefficient of y, our b, which is equal to four. So what we do, we negate the quotient of a and b. Okay, guys? So this is equal to negative of five over what? Over four. Okay, guys? Am I right, children? So that's the slope of the given line. Now to our, the slope of the line we are looking for, so this is also the slope of the required line. Okay, guys? So again, for the line we are looking for, this is the slope. So for the equation of the line, we have y minus y1, what is our first? Uh, power point, the y coordinate is negative five. So plus five now, no? And this is equal to the slope, the negative five over four. And this is multiplied by x minus, what is the y coordinate, the x coordinate? Two. So multiplying by four, we have what? Four y plus 20 is equal to negative five of x minus two, no? Am I correct, guys? So simplifying, we have four y plus 20. The right side is negative five x plus 10. Collecting all the terms on the left side by adding what? By adding on each side of this equation, five x and negative 10, no? So getting 5x on the left side, then plus 4y, then plus 10. Am I correct, guys? Equal to zero. So we can no longer simplify this equation. So this is the line we are looking for. That is what? Parallel to the given line. Okay, guys? What about letter B? For letter B, perpendicular this time. The line we are looking for is perpendicular to the given line 5x plus 4y minus 8 equals 0. So since perpendicular, so instead of same slope, negative reciprocal. So since the slope of this given line is what? is negative five over four. So what is the slope of the line we are looking for? For the line that is perpendicular to this line, the slope is negative reciprocal of this. So that is equal to what? Four over five. Get it guys? So 
we have for the line perpendicular, the equation is given by y minus, same point now, passing through that two negative five. So minus negative five, y minus negative five equals four over five multiplied to x minus two. Let's multiply both sides of the equation by negative five. So that we'll get negative five y minus two twenty five, and on the right side negative four of x minus two. No, okay, guys. So simplifying, we have on the left side negative five y minus twenty five, on the right side negative four x plus eight. So let's collect all the terms to the left side. So we can do that by adding on each side what, guys? What are to be added on each side? Add 4x minus 8, no? So getting 4x minus 5y, then we have minus negative what? 33. Guys, now negative. So, okay. So that's it. So 4x minus 5y minus 30. Okay. Write the general equation of the line. Bisecting at right angle the segment connecting The points for negative two and negative five four. Okay, so there is a segment. The segment is connected by the following points for negative two, negative five four, and we want to know the line that intersects the segment perpendicularly. So the situation is like. There is a line, something like this. Let me, although it's just, it's not accurate, guys. Huh? The line is not grown accurately. Yeah. I mean, it's not, mm, uh, it's just an arbitrary illustration. So let's say we have negative five, four. And then this point for two, negative two. And we're looking for a line intersecting this. So meaning this is midpoint, right? Because bisecting and bisected at this point perpendicularly. Get it, guys? So this is the line we're looking for. Now to determine the line L, we need to know a point N slope. So where do we get the point? From the midpoint, no? So point is the midpoint, no? For midpoint, we have, oh, what is the midpoint, guys? X coordinate, negative, Five plus what? Plus four, negative five plus four. Negative five plus four, then divide by two now, all over two. What about the y coordinate? Four plus negative two. Four 
all over 2. So the midpoint, therefore, is given by negative 1 half, positive 1, no? We already have a point. So then we need a slope, no? For the slope of the line segment, for slope, We have what? Uh, what is the slope? Negative uh, four minus negative two. All over negative five minus four, no? Am I right, guys? So this is 6 over negative 9, or that is, when simplified, 2 over 3. Am I correct, guys? So therefore, what is the slope of the line we are looking for? Because intersected at this midpoint of the line segment at right angle, so we have what? Two third, three halves, no? Am I right? guys, negative reciprocal of this. So we can now get the equation of the line. For the equation of the line, we have y minus the y coordinate of the midpoint where the line will pass to. So minus one, slope is three halves. And then x minus what guys? Minus negative one half. So it is now plus one half now. Okay guys? So we multiply by what? Each side. Let's multiply by four, negative. So we get negative four y plus four. And this is equal to negative six, no? Multiply by x plus one half. Simplifying the right side, we get what? So by multiplying this, so negative six x, negative three, am I correct guys? And then let's add on each side. What is to be added on each side? To be added, we want to collect everything to the left side, no? So we add six X plus three on each side of the equation. So getting six X minus four Y plus seven is equal to zero. Am I right guys? Any question with this, children? So this is the line we are looking for. So that is passing through the midpoint of the given line segment at right angle, okay? Number, next number. In triangle ABC, because it's general form. We want it to be 6x minus 4y plus 7 equal to zero because we are asked of the general form. Get it, guys? Remember general form is of the form ax plus by plus c equal to zero. And to be a nice form in general, um, we want our coefficients of x and y together with a constant integers. And we always start with a positive coefficient for the x. Okay, guys? So in triangle ABC with vertices at a coordinates to negative four, B coordinates zero four,
NC coordinates negative four one. Find the general equation. of the median drone from the vertex A. Okay. So let's illustrate the problem. So I'm not going to draw again the actual figure, but I will just have an arbitrary illustration. Okay, guys. So let's say this is our triangle and we have point A. Point A is here, for instance, point B, point C. Okay, guys. So, and we want to determine the median drone from the vertex from the vertex A to what? So of course, it, it, if it comes from vertex A, it goes to where? To the midpoint of BC, no? Am I correct, guys? Because what? Median. Remember median, guys? It is a line or a line segment from one vertex to what? To the midpoint of the opposite side. Okay, guys? So, hmm. To get this equation, so equation of this median, we have what, guys? So what are we looking for? General equation of median, no? from vertex A. So to get the equation of that, what we need to determine or to know first, guys, we need to know what? The midpoint of BC, no? Okay, not distance formula because we are not looking for what? The length of the median, but general equation. So to find the, the, the equation of the median or the equation representing the median, we need a point and a slope, okay? Do we have a point? Yes, actually the point is the midpoint of BC. Okay, guys, for midpoint of BC, hmm. uh, what is the midpoint of BC, guys? We have, can we do it mentally? Midpoint of BC. So zero plus negative four divided by two, so negative two, no? What about midpoint, I mean, Y coordinates? Four plus one, three, five divided by two. So we have five halves. Get it, guys? So we have already the midpoint. So what about the slope? So for the slope of the line segment, um, connecting the midpoint and the vertex A. So this is the midpoint. So slope of a, AM, no? So meaning slope of the median. So that is mm, the slope um, containing what? What points are we going to consider? Point A and N, no? So five over two minus, mm, Two, uh, five over two minus negative four. Minus negative four all over, what about X sub two minus X sub one? So we have negative two minus two. Am I right, guys? So to simplify this, we multiply both the numerator and denominator by two. So to get five plus eight all over negative eight. 
So this is negative 13 over 8. Right, guys? So that's the, that's the slope of the median. So we can now get the equation of the line. So for the equation of the line, passing through the So we have y minus. You can use in any of the given points now, the A or the M. So these points, I mean, you can use point A or point M. I think better to use point A because containing integers rather than the M, no? Guys, so that is two negative four with the slope negative 13 over eight. So we now have Y minus negative four equals negative 13 over eight, then X minus two. Am I correct, guys? So multiply by what, guys? What is our multiplier? 8. So getting 8y plus 32 is equal to negative 13x plus 26, right? Because 8 is cancelled out. So collecting all the terms to the left, we get 13x by adding on both sides positive 13x minus 26. So getting positive 13x plus 8y, then plus what? 32 minus 36. 32 minus 26, I mean, so that is 6 now, equal to 0. Can we still simplify this? No more, no? So we can no longer simplify that. So uh, this is already our mm, answer, no? The line we are looking for, equation of the median. Actually, the median is just on this line. Hey, guys. So if you're going to restrict, if you want to get oh, exactly the median, so X here is, who, is what, guys? If you want to really restrict and you want to consider the median as what? As the line segment. Where what? Where X is between, what is the restriction for X? Between what, guys? Between negative two and two. Between negative two and two. What about the corresponding y, guys? Between negative 4 and 5 halves, right? Am I right, guys? So I think this is plus 60. Okay, now, guys. So let's have another problem. Find the ortho center of triangle ABC with vertices. Negative two five six one and one negative two. Again, find the ortho center of triangle ABC with vertices at A, negative two, five, B, six, one, and C, one, negative two. So what is an ortho center, guys? Guys, do you know what an ortho center is? So let's draw this problem so that you can visualize it.
So maximum y is 5. Minimum is negative 2. Maximum x is 6, no? Minimum is negative 2. So we're given this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then here. One, two, three, four, five. Negative one, negative two. Here, negative one, negative two. Let's say this is negative three. Positive two, positive four, six. So let's plot the points. We have negative two, positive five, somewhere here. Okay. And then we have six, one. One negative two. Am I right, guys? So let's connect these points. So this is the triangle and we want to know the orthocenter. What is an orthocenter guys? Anyone? What is an orthocenter? Children. Uh, the point of intersection of the altitudes, of, I think. Of the altitudes, no? Point of intersection of the altitudes. Now, it is a principle in geometry that you know that there are three altitudes. These three altitudes of a triangle, whether you like it or not, will meet at a common point, whether it is outside the triangle when you extend the altitude or it can be inside. No? So if a triangle is obtuse, the orthocenter is outside the triangle. If a triangle is, uh, is an acute triangle, it is inside. If a triangle is a right triangle, they meet where? They meet at the intersection of the perpendicular side. Okay, guys? So we have orto center. This is the one we're looking for. So meaning this is intersection Three altitudes, no? Three altitudes of a triangle, of triangle ABC. How to get the orthocenter? All you have to do is to find at least two what? Mid, uh, altitudes, equations of altitudes. Enough. Okay. No need to find the three, because again, it is a principle in geometry that they meet at a common point, all the three, no? But it's enough to find the two uh, to get the, what, the orthocenter, okay? Just get the intersection of the two mid, uh, altitudes that will give you the orthocenter. Any of the two, of the three altitudes. So what are the convenient, uh, 
altitudes that we, that we need to determine. So let's see. So this one, the first altitude possible here. Okay, so perpendicular here. And then where's the other possible altitude? So here. Okay, guys, possible to be perpendicular. So it is where the location of the ortho center possible to, to, to be what? To be somewhere here, no, guys? But of course, uh, this is just an approximate location. And so it is where the ortho center is. So let's determine these uh, altitudes, equations corresponding to these altitudes. So we call this point what? What is this? Point A, no? This is point B, and this is point C, okay? So since we need the equation of altitudes A, let's say A, M, and A, P, A, N, yeah. so uh, we need also to get the slopes of A, B, and B, C, no? So get the reciprocals, and you will be able to get the Mm, slopes of the altitudes we need. Now for AB, so what's the slope of, for let's start with AB. So what's the slope, guys? AB. So that is one minus five over all over six minus negative two, getting negative four over eight. So that is one half negative. No? What about for slope of um, BC? No? For slope of BC, we have. B, C, negative two minus one, all over one minus six. So this is negative what? Negative three over negative four. Or negative three. I think I got a mistake here. Negative what? Negative three over negative five, no? so that is equal to three over five. Okay, now guys, so therefore, what is the slope of median uh, perpendicular to this AB, no? Perpendicular to AB, that is median CN, no? For slope of CN, what is the slope of CN, guys? Two, what about the slope of AM? Altitude AM, what's the slope? Negative five over three, because negative reciprocal. Clear, guys? So we are now ready to get the what? The, guys, we're now ready to get what? The, equations of altitudes, no? For altitudes, yeah. equations, we are after equations, not the length. No? For equations of altitudes, let's start with Cn. Y minus. It passes through what? Cn. N, but we don't know N. We know C, so we're going to use C. Y minus 
negative 2, slope is 2, then x minus 1. No? Guys? Okay? So, getting 2x minus 1 is I minus 2, sorry. 2x minus 2 is equal to y plus 2, no? Or that is 2x minus y minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay? Or equals 4. 2x minus y equals 4. So this is our equation number one. Because we are we are supposed to form a system of equations so that we are going, we will be able to solve for the ortho center. What about for um, altitude AM? For altitude AM, we have Y minus uh, what is the Y coordinate of A? Five. So Y minus five equals negative five over three X minus negative two. So X plus two now multiply by three. 3y minus 15 is equal to negative 5x, then minus 10, right? So collecting everything to the left side. So we have 5x plus 3y minus 5 is equal to 0, or is equal to 5, if you want the constant on the right side. So this is equation number one, number two. So we can now solve for the ortho center, no, guys? Let's get this equation, this two. So from equation number one, let's solve for y. Y is equal to what? 2x minus 4, right? Y is equal to 2x minus 4. From equation number two, we substitute this y. So we have 5x plus 3y. What is y? 2x minus 4, and that is equal to 5. So getting 5x, then plus 6x minus 12 equals 5. So 11x is equal to 17. So what is x, guys? 17 over 11. Okay? What about the y value? For the y value, we have y is equal to 2 times 17 over 11 minus 4. So y therefore is equal to 34 minus 44 all over 11. Oh, what's y, guys? y is equal to negative 10 over 11. Am I correct, guys? So finally, we have this orthocenter. Therefore, the orthocenter is what? What is the orthocenter? The orthocenter is given by this point, 17 over 11. Hmm. Negative 10 over 11. Okay? So this is negative 10 over 11. Huh? Is that not right, guys? Okay, now guys. Okay, so that's the final answer. What about if you're asked of the circumcenter? If you're asked of the circumcenter, so it means it is uh, intersection of the perpendicular bisectors of the triangle. If, if you are asked of the centroid, intersection of what? Of the median. Okay, but again, two equations are enough for you to be able to get such important point. No? So orthocenter, circumcenter, and then centroid. Centroid again, intersection of the medians, orthocenter, intersection of the altitudes, um, sometimes called point of concurrency. When you say point of concurrency, more than two intersect, more than two lines. 
So let's have other problems. Find the equation of the line. And I want it in general form. Letter A, having an x-intercept for and slope five. So if you're given this condition, so or information, if you're given this information, uh, what mm, standard form of a line is useful here, guys? Guys, what standard form? So when you say x-intercept, it means there is a value. I mean, a is equal to what? Four, no? And it implies that there is a point Four zero, no, guys, and we're given a slope five, so we can use point slope form. Is that clear, guys? So y minus the equation of the line is given by what, guys? Y minus zero is equal to five, then x minus four, right? So getting five x minus twenty is equal to y. Therefore, 5x minus y minus 20 is equal to zero. So this is the equation of the line we're looking for. Okay? Uh, what about letter B? Find the equation of the line passing through five, negative four, and with slope two-thirds of the y-intercept, two-thirds of the y-intercept. Okay, so how are we going to solve this, guys? So according to the problem, what is the relationship between the slope and the y-intercept? Slope is equal to what? Two-thirds of B. Two-thirds of the y-intercept, no, guys? So this is our equation one. And since we are given a point, and about slope and y-intercept, useful form here, standard form is slope-intercept form. So using y equals mx plus b at the point, what point, guys? It, the, this line is to pass through 5, negative 4. So at 5, negative 4, so let's substitute negative four is equal to M times what is X five plus B. So we get five M plus B is equal to negative four. So this is our equation number two. So from one and two, we can solve for what? For M and B, no? So from equation one, we know that M is equal to two thirds of B. So I can replace what? m by two-thirds of b, then plus b, so equals negative four. Okay, guys? So multiply by what? By three. So to get 10b plus 3b is equal to negative 12. So what is the left side? 13b. What about the right side, guys? Negative 12. So what is b? Children, so what is B? Negative 
12 over 13. So if B is negative 12 over 13, what is the slope now, guys? Oh, what is the slope, children? Negative 12 over 13 multiplied so, by 2 over 3. Oh, two thirds of negative 12 over 13. Oh, what is that? So this is 2 times so 2 over uh, 12 divided by 3 is 4, no? So it is negative 8 over negative 13. Negative 8 over 13. Po. Yes, yeah. po, sir. So hence, we can now find the equation of the, the line, no? So the equation of the line is y equals m. What is m? Negative 8 over 13 x then plus b what is b negative 12 over 13 but you want general equation so to express this in general form we multiply by 13 huh? okay guys getting 13y equals negative 8x minus 12 so 8x plus 13y plus 12 is equal to zero, okay? So this is the general form. Any question with this, children? Uh, what about letter C? Find the equation of the line passing through negative six, three, and with intercepts numerically equal but opposite in sign. Okay? So what does it mean, guys? If A is 4, what is B? For instance, negative 4, no? If A is negative 5, what is B? Positive 5. So it means A is equal to what? Negative of the B. Okay? <coughs> so, but the line is going to pass through negative 6, 3. Since we're given info about intercepts, the useful equation is what? To use is the intercept form no? or the two intercept form. That is x over a plus y over b equals one. So this line has to pass through negative six, three. At negative six, three, so we substitute to x, negative six over a, and then, plus three over B is equal to one. But we know the relationship between A and B. A is equal to the negative of B. So therefore, this equation can be written negative six over negative B, then plus three over B is equal to one. Let's multiply each side by B to get to what? To get six no? plus three is equal to B. Am I correct, guys? What is B, children? Nine. So B is nine. So we can now write the equation of the line. So what is now the equation of the line? If B is nine, so what is our A? Negative nine, right? Because numerically equal but opposite in sign. Huh? So hence, the equation of the line is given by X over negative nine. Our A, our B is what? negative positive nine, no? so plus y over nine is equal to one. Multiply by negative nine, we have x, and then minus y, then equals negative nine, so plus nine, no, equal to zero. Am I right, guys? Children. So this is the required equation of the line. Well, let's have letter D, if you don't have question. Find the equation of the line with 
x intercept twice the y intercept and passing through the point for six. Again, and with y intercept, twice the y intercept. Sorry, with y with y intercept twice the x intercept. Okay. Uh, what about this, guys? We know already a, a point. No, there's already a point where the line will pass through. So what is the relationship of the, the B with the X? The Y intercept is twice the X intercept, okay? So since we are given info about Y intercepts and Y intercept and X intercept, so the useful um, form to be used is the intercept form. So using, x over a plus y over b equals one. So at the point four, six, we substitute this. So four over a plus six over b equals one. So this is our second equation, no? But there is a relationship between b and a. So we can replace b by two a, no? So getting four mm. over, Oh, 4 over a plus 6 over what is b to a and this is equal to 1 okay guys so what is our multiplier multiply by a if we multiply this by a so we get 4 plus multiply by a this is 3 no am i correct children and that is equal to a so what is our a 7 or oh, what is b Negative or positive? Positive, 14, no? Yeah. So therefore, the equation of the line is x over 7 plus y over 14. And that is equal to 1. Multiply by 14, we get 2x plus y equals 14. So minus 14 equal to 0. Okay, so that's the equation of the line. Any question, guys? Children? No question? Uh, what about the fifth one? Find the equation of the line containing the point. Negative four, negative two and with sum of intercepts three okay so again we are looking for equation of the line with the following info the sum of a and b is what? Three, the sum of the x and the y intercept. Because it is said that the sum of the intercepts, meaning the x intercept and the y intercept is equal to three. So this is our equation one. Okay, guys? So since a and b are involved, the better form is x over a plus y over b. Okay, guys? is equal to one. So at the point negative four, negative two, let's substitute this here. So negative four over a plus y over, what is y negative two, no? Over b is equal to one. So this is our equation number two. But from equation number one, 
what is B, guys? 3 minus A, right? So I can replace the B of equation number 2 by 3 minus A so that this will become an equation in one variable. Okay? So negative 4 over A, then plus negative 2 over B. But what is B, guys? 3 minus A. Am I right, children? Guys, still alive? So what is our multiplier to each side? A, 3 minus A, no? So getting negative 4 times 3 minus A, then minus 2A, then on the right side is A, 3 minus A. Let's simplify. We get negative 12 plus 4A, minus 2A is equal to 3A minus A squared. Am I right, guys? So A squared, then plus 2A minus 3A is negative A. This is 2A minus 3A negative A. Minus 12 is equal to 0. Is this factorable? Let's solve for A. Is this factorable, guys? I think so, no? A minus 4, A minus 3. Plus, no? Plus 3. A minus 4, A plus 3. Equal to 0. Equate its factor to 0. Solve for A in its linear equation. So... There are two possible A's, A values, no? So there are two corresponding Y values, B values also, no? Sum is three. So this is supposed to be negative one so that the sum is three. What about if A is negative three? What is supposed to be B? Six so that the sum is three. Am I right, guys? So it means there are two possible equations satisfying the given conditions. Clear, children? So if A is equal to 4, B is negative 1, so we have X over 4 plus Y over negative 1 is equal to 1. Simplifying, we get X, then minus 4Y equals 4, so then minus 4 equals to 0. After multiplying each side by 4. Am I right, guys? Children? So this is one possible equation of the line. Another possible, we have this info. If A is equal to negative 3, B is equal to 6. So we have X over negative 3 plus Y over 6 is equal to 1. Oh, multiply by negative 6. We get what? 3X minus Y equals negative 6, so plus 6 equals 0. Get it, children? Guys, children, still alive? Yes, for sir. Okay, number letter F now, I think. Find the equation of the line passing through four negative two and forming with the axis A triangle of area nine square units. I'll get it, guys. The problem we're looking for the equation of the line. The line has to pass through four negative two, and that line will form with the x axis, with the x axis and y axis. 
a triangle of area 9 square units. Okay, children? Well, let's illustrate. So the point is in the fourth quadrant. No, guys? Am I right, children? Four, negative two. One, two, three, four. This is five, this is two, negative one, negative two, negative three. One, two, then negative one, negative two. Are you plotting the point? Four, negative two, four, negative two. Correct, guys? Somewhere here, no? Forming a, a, a triangle with the axis. So, an impossible triangle. Possible triangle. Ito, no? Ang area nine. Am I right, guys? Maybe I think I need to extend this. So we have one possible triangle like this. Of course, this is not not the actual, no. But this is just a possible, no. Yeah. It forms a triangle with the axis here. Yeah. This is the triangle, no? That is one possible triangle. But it is also possible that our line will pass through here, forming an area, for instance, an area of nine square units, something like this. Okay, guys, can you, do you imagine the, what I'm doing, guys? So possible that it will be intersected here. So here, so this is the triangle forming with the axis. And this is the line, it passes through that, but it forms a triangle in what? In a third quadrant. Possible it is in the fourth quadrant, right, guys? May possibility pa ba na first quadrant, guys? May possible na first quadrant, children, right? Am I correct, children? Boys. Guys, are you listening? This is not drawn to scale, ha? Huh? The, the, the expected triangle or the possible triangle. So possible triangle. So possible in the third quadrant, in the fourth quadrant or first quadrant. Am I right, guys? Okay. Okay. So it means to get the area of the triangle, so which is nine, we have to what? To get the one half the product of the absolute value of AB, because this is A, this is B, right? In every triangle, this is A, X intercept, this is the Y intercept, same thing in the third quadrant. Okay, guys? So again, triangle is what? Possible. Yeah. So area and triangle is equal to, because A and B can be negative, can be positive. Yeah. So it is one half the absolute value of AB. Am I correct, children? Guys, so at mm, the point mm, for negative two, so using what? Using X over A plus Y over B equals one. So we get what? 
4 over A. So we need to solve for the values of A and B. Then we have negative 2 over B. So this is our equation. Actually, this is our equation number two, no? Equation number one will come from where? From here. So we have area is nine. So we have one half the absolute value of A and B. Okay, children? So this is our equation number one. Now, if your triangle is in the first quadrant, no problem, A and B is positive. If triangle, actually right, that is a right triangle, no? If right triangle is in quadrant one, area is given by what? Nine is equal to simply one half of A and B because A and B have what? Have the same sign. Okay, guys? A, B are both positive also in the third quadrant. Okay, children? In the third quadrant, A and B have the same sign, both negative. Therefore, if A is negative and B is, is negative, the product is still positive. Times one half possible to be area. Okay? Children, get it, guys? So again, in quadrant one and in quadrant two, A and B have the same sign. Quadrant one and quadrant three. A and B have same sign. So no problem with the product, no? So always positive. So no need for absolute value. So A, B, therefore, so we need to solve for, for either B or A, no? Solving for B, we get what? 18 over what? Over A. So this is our equation, no? Our equation one coming from this, okay? So let's substitute this here. So getting four over A plus negative two over, what is A, B? 18 over A, and that is equal to one, simplifying four over A minus A over nine. Get it, guys? Guys, equals one. Or multiply by nine A, we get, 36 minus A squared equals 9A. Am I right, guys? 9A, this is negative A squared. This is 36, na? So getting A squared plus 9A minus 36. Does this have a real solution? Or there's, does it have real solutions, guys? Children? Guys, what is the factored form? A plus what? A plus 12. A minus 3. Am I right, children? So what is A? Negative 12 or positive 3, meaning... Negative 12, this is in what quadrant? Kasi negative. So third quadrant. A is positive, it is in the first quadrant. Na? Remember A and B here are same sign. So A is in the first quadrant or in the third quadrant. If A is negative 12, what is B sub 3? So in the B in the third quadrant. No, so that is 18 over a. So 18 over negative 12. 18 over negative 12. So b sub 3 is equal to hmm. guys. What is 18 over 12? Three halves, no? So negative because this is negative. Okay, guys? 
What about if A is 3? Children. What if A is 3? What is B? 18 over negative 3, negative what? 6, na? So this is in what? I'm sorry. Positive pala to, to. Positive 3. So what is this? 6, na? Okay, guys? So first quadrant. So we can now write the equation of the line here. So x over negative 12 plus y over negative 3 halves. So there is a possible line that will form a triangle in the third quadrant. So multiply by what? What is our multiplier here, here guys? 12, no? Multiply by negative 12. Better, I think, negative 12. X plus 8Y plus 12 equals 0. What is our multiplier? Negative 12. Get it, children? So this is our first possible answer. What about the second one? First quadrant, so ito third quadrant, no? At, mm, what about sa third quadrant, yung triangle? Guys, so we have x over 3 plus y over 6 equals 1 multiplied by 6, 2x plus y minus 6 equals 0. Okay, so this is the second one. Any question, guys, here? Children? Guys, any question? So there is another possible location of triangle, no? A triangle is possible na located in the fourth quadrant. In the fourth quadrant, A and B have opposite signs. So again, in the fourth quadrant, a and B is the opposite sign. If right triangle is in quadrant four, what can we say about the The relationship of A and B. A and B have opposite sign, no? A and B have opposite signs. One is positive, the other one is negative, the value expected. So we say that ang area natin, A therefore is equal to one half of AB, but you have to negate. Why do we have to put negative children? Because we know that B is negative, the value. If B is negative, A is positive times negative, so the area is positive. Okay, children, guys? So solving for B, we have negative 18 over A. So this is our equation number uh, one, but let us have equation number two. Or oh, one A, one A, because we have already one A. Equation two, our equation two same here. No, four over, what is that? Four over A, negative two over B. So our equation number two, four over A plus negative two over B, no? Equals one. This is equation number two, it's still the same, same equation two. So the only different, e, difference is that we use B equals negative 18 over A because the triangle is in the fourth quadrant. In the fourth quadrant, B is negative. Times negative, so it is positive, no? So we do not have problem with the area formula, okay? 
So substitution gives us 4 over A minus 2 over B. But what is our B? Negative 18 over A. And that is equal to 1. Okay, guys? So simplifying 4 over A, then plus A over 9 is equal to 1. Multiply by 9A, we get 36. Then plus A squared, then equals 9A. So A squared, therefore, minus 9A plus 36 is equal to zero, no? Guys, oh. what about this? Does, this? does this have real solutions, children? So this does not have real solution because the discriminant of this, discriminant, you know discriminant, guys? This will determine the, the nature of the solution. So the discriminant is given by the square of the coefficient of a, negative 9 square it minus 4a, ang in a natin the coefficient the quadratic, 1, and then the c is 36, which is less than 0. Therefore, no real solution. Meaning, the triangle, although it will form a triangle, in the fourth quadrant here, passing through 4, negative 2. So this point is 4, negative 2. But it will not be an area neg 9 square units. It is not 9 square units. It is not possible to form a triangle with area 9 square new units that will pass through 4, negative 2 in the fourth quadrant, huh? the triangle. OK, guys? So there are only two solutions x plus 8y plus 12 equal to 0, and 2x plus y minus 6 equal to 0. There are only two possible lines. Oh, any question, children, with that problem? Guys? Guys? So, of course, because you did not get any equations from that, because no real solutions. Okay? So we will not be able to get equations of lines there because it will not have real solutions. Even you solve this equation, you get imaginary roots. So you will not be able to have equations of the equations of the lines from there because we need real solutions for A and B. Okay, guys? Oh, that's it for today. We're going to continue for the next meeting.